Okay, sorry about that. Something just came up on my laptop, uh, which is kind of personal, and I had to attack on it, uh, deal with it, and uh, yeah, I'm uh, put it on. All right, let me just continue on from my previous one right here. Uh, where was I? Okay, let's have a closer look on the uh, the slow pieces. Slow pieces, interestingly, have uh, I have uh, uh, I've got lots of lot of them with the uh, the printed pieces. The ones with the space, uh, kind of, um, with the radar or some computer or, um, some interesting, uh, I cannot really describe them well enough. I don't even know what these are. This is some kind of space logo here. And, uh, interesting enough, I, I've got lots of, uh, th probably space, space, space. I can tell it at least. I, I don't know exactly what these are, but, um, gives me the idea that these are probably uh, included in the space theme. Also, one over here is a computer. These are also beep 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 computer stuff. And this one as well is uh okay. I found out that this one the, is a sticker the piece, or one by four by one one by one by three by four slope. And this one particularly is um for the Star Wars the Venator. Venator is the name is kind of interesting. Venator Venator. I don't know why I named it like that, but this one is for the, the for the Star Wars. But the the whole uh, the the all all of the other slopes are space theme, and these are laser printed, which is very nice. Some more um one by three slope pieces right here, and interestingly, uh, I have separated one one by three slope piece right here from here. This one. Uh, I still, I still found, okay, the one on top is dark gray, and the one on the bottom is dark bluish gray, that's how I thought, but I found out that the, on the, from the bottom, let me show you, a little bit of, uh, the bottom right here, and when I was like, um, trading it, like, like touching it, and, uh, connecting them together, I found out that, um, okay, this one right here, okay, this one, like, eventually, I will find out which ones are real, which ones are fake, and, uh, it looks a bit different, see, like, okay, has a little bit of a groove at the edge. This is r extremely, it, it's impossible for the Lego company to produce something like this. Bit of a groovy part, the shape itself is whole, whole different. And the, the, you see the tooth right here is a bit thicker. And I was like becoming, and the, even the this, this part right here is a, a bit narrower. I mean like by touching and uh, I made a mistake uh, in the beginning but pretty, pretty soon like by uh, like when I uh, look at them like this, interconnect them and treat them and touch them, I pretty soon I find out, oh there's something weird here, what's wrong with this? And then later I check, okay the one on the left is Lego, the one on the right says Kazi. So, does anyone know what Kazi actually came from? I think it's China, but I'm not sure. But the um, Kazi, uh, I get a lot, a lot of Kazi bricks around here. Seriously, ah, uh, what, what, where does the uh, the Kazi brand come from? So yeah, I found out uh, this one's also is a fake one. So eventually, let me warn you, people producing a fake Lego pieces, that eventually. Like after all the procedure of washing and sorting and all the arranging and set analysis, eventually I will fi find out which ones real, which ones are fake. Okay, so more uh, great pieces that I got here: the slope, especially the two by two black slope inverted. Those pieces I have abundant of them, abundant of them. Probably goes into set. Uh, the castle, the castle siege, siege castle set, but this time, once again, I already have collected enough pieces for the set number 7094, which is King's Castle Siege, S uh, before I have already enough uh, uh, pieces of them. So like this time, all those pieces can be uh, distributed or goes into other sets that I'm targeting at, so which I'm also quite happy about it. 
This is uh, some kind of fun that I get from collecting uh, continuous uh, Lego pieces or even... Uh, okay. Some more 2x2 two two and 4x4 four four disc or dish pieces. Interesting enough, uh, we got... Uh, what do we got here? Trans dark blue, trans uh, neon green, trans even trans red. I mean, black and light bluish gray or white or blue, uh, yellow, these are rare. But this time I got trans clear one. Pretty, pretty much uh, the uh, the space came from the space theme. Interesting slope, double, uh, uh, usually goes on, on top of uh, a house. Or building and more pieces technique uh, uh, and the uh, tiles with hinge and this one and those two for some particular set that I am getting ready for the completion and all the tiles here let me go uh, bottom to up uh, this time 1x4, 1x6, a lot of 1x6 red pieces this is really great a great a great um, result. I needed a lot of, especially 1x6, black, black, black ones and white ones, I need a lot of them. This time I got a lot of uh, red ones, which is also great. Uh, dark bluish gray, dark red, 1x8, and, and then goes to a 1x, this time I only got one 1x8 black tile. I think I still need a lot of um, 1x8 tile. And uh, obviously, the Star Wars Venator uh, six by six is it? Yes, dark, uh, the light bluish gray tile with the interesting and amazing stickers attached on it. All three of them. Then comes the two by two tiles with the printed uh, laser printed pattern with the space kind of stuff. The three on the lower are space a uh, paper sticker. And one on the uh, the construction site and the blue more and mo uh, dark bluish gray goes all the way down to white and yellow and uh, two by two round grill. Uh, a lot of boat stud pieces. Uh, particularly this time is uh, interesting is that I got a lot of tan color. Uh, I think they go into Venator, maybe, not sure, but let me find out. Look at all those jelly, like, I want to chew on them, like, ah! It makes me feel like I, I, I can already smell some orange or jelly. <coughs> make, make me feel like a crunchy. <laughs> chew on them. I want to chew. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I'm not supposed to do that. Can't do that. More, okay. Let me go this way. Um, hopefully, uh, it doesn't go vertical once again. It has to stay horizontal. All right. So uh, it's getting kind of hot here, and I'm kind of getting sweaty. But I cannot open the door. Let me. Uh, I have no space to put my set my foot on. Okay, this is kind of convenient that I can just draw with my U.S. Army towel. <laughs> I'm continuously mentioning that this is a U.S. Army towel because it's a... Uh, I'm... <laughs> I don't know, I'm just proud or something. But uh, it's really good quality. It's still quite useful after 20 years now. And uh, very useful uh, in lots of other ways. So yeah, made me uh, space for me to step on uh, another place like this. Yeah, which is more convenient for me. Yeah, still uh, interesting uh, the uh, piece of um, the front piece of some kind of spaceship. This time it is some kind of insect. Uh, the name of it, I forgot. I'll think of it later. All right, uh, the battery, the double A battery goes in. The, uh, two of them goes in there, and uh, I still haven't found out if it's still operable. Maybe I'll just give it a try with the. I don't know. Do I have a battery? Do I? Well, real time. Real time. Um, maybe I'll just put my tripod here. Uh, wow. Is it going to work? I don't know. I've, I've never tried. But uh, I'm kind of scared. I don't know. Okay, these ones are already open, so let me just give it a try. Alright, this one is it, yeah. 
some batteries that I've been leaving in the bag for like um, a month for like months now so it's pretty much a uh, I don't know if it's still going to work. Okay, it says arrow downway here. So oh, this is how it is clicked and opened and uh, Okay Minus goes in there. So my from the minus part. Let me push it and slide it in It got in Oh ho -ho. Okay, so if I'm uh, like if I press a button here, maybe some uh, Light what is this? What is this? Oh, that was terrible. Uh, maybe a light? If it's still working? Okay, here it looks like a, you know, the speaker. So that it, from here, it must be some kind of light, light, uh, component and uh, sound component uh, must be um, embedded inside. So if I press this, light comes on. If I press here and there, sound comes on is pretty much what I think I've never tried it before but this time because I'm making a video let me just show you a real-time uh, exercise on this I don't know if it's gonna work <laughs> if it doesn't it's gonna be a big dis disappointment but okay let me just hold it like this hold it this way and ah Oh no, it doesn't work. Maybe the battery. Uh, is it the battery? I don't think it's but the battery has still a lot of Okay, nothing works. Um, because I uh put this into water by mistake bit, or it simply is too old. It doesn't work. Nothing works. Ah, so disappointed. Sorry to uh disappoint you guys as well. Maybe should I try something? Other kinds of battery here? That's all I got! I don't have much. Uh, have I used this before? I used a Duracell. This time let me use Corando. Corando here. Uh, I put them uh, wrong direction. Wrong direction. That's not it. Minus goes front. Slide them in. Okay, it says minus here. Minus also here. So yeah, it's quite rusty in there. Rusty, rusty. This time, let me just attach them all the... Assemble all them together. See, even the color looks a bit different. On top is dark, quite dark gray, or even yellowed dark gray with a lot of sun hitting on the surface. On the bottom is, is kind of like a... I uh, <laughs> just uh, happened to press the... Okay, so it was the battery issue. Wow, this is so freakingly great. <laughs> I didn't use the uh, profanity, did I? Okay, so if I press the button right here, three, two, one. Woohoo, this happens and it's still working even if it's like decades or even scores of years and it is still working and I even uh, put this into wa warm hot water by mistake and now this is still working are you seriously oh I'm so happy oh uh, it, now it, it, it sounds a little bit like a grasshopper or a mantis baby So it l kind of lasts as long as I press the button, it, it continues to make this weird sound of um, grasshopper or something, whatever. Okay, let me try uh, this one. Okay, um, uh, this one doesn't work, probably, uh, yeah, like I'm still happy with the rest of the, uh, the buttons still working, but this one... I wonder what this... Oh, it is working. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, I kind of found out that the uh, the sound brick pieces are really, really precious. I don't know, like um, for lots of other toys, uh, they have lots of stuff like that. But especially in a Lego world, sound bricks are... Uh, this one has to be washed. Actually, I uh, put them into water, but did not wash it completely. Uh, 
here I found another rewash material. Probably I have to wash them with a toothbrush. But yeah, sound brick is really pr precious. I don't know why. Yeah, sound brick is something extra stuff, so it should be. But yeah, I'm happy to get this. Uh, I even did a little uh, brief uh, demonstration, uh, and I'm glad to find out that the battery, the 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 thing is uh, working. All right. Let me put it back down there. Uh, pick up my battery. Okay, it's kind of late in the night here, so I may. Um, Okay, let me go back to uh, where I uh, was. Okay, so it looks like insect legs, uh, space theme plate modified, a wing modified, and uh, six. Uh, this is uh, it was actually I made a mistake. It was actually eight by eight. So two right here, three, three, so six, and two. So say uh, six plus two is eight, right? <laughs> eight by eight uh, playground kind of uh, brick. Uh, green color and two uh, probably goes into the uh, the door goes into set num uh, the king's castle stage uh, the, the more crane crane uh, crane okay let me just call it crane crane cover uh, piece and uh, miscellaneous more miscellaneous uh, the castle uh, wall kind of arch thing and uh, more uh, sh air pump shooter missiles are down there and uh, uh, this one uh, I found in uh, some kind of uh, uh, life guard, safe guard, uh, coast guard uh, set and uh, here I found another one which will be used for the, uh, the site a construction site probably yeah more interesting very old uh, interesting uh, piece of Lego with hinge right there usually used for the canopy or cockpit and more wingtails and uh, these are the cream of the crop pieces that I really really enjoy adoring and touching and all that collecting uh, canopy trans dark blue even blue with printing laser printing trans neon is this red no trans neon orange uh, I want to have a bite on them this is like um, I think it's going to taste like orange <laughs> And this one especially probably uh, used for uh, the space theme, some kind of space headquarter. And the shape and everything looks really interesting to me. It brings me uh, the memory of my childhood, although I did not really own one of those uh, precious uh, space theme. Uh, insect wings probably and uh, the laser printing uh, te technology is really advanced and very good quality right here. Um, more uh, windscreen and uh, canopy or uh, cockpit for the submarine kind of stuff. Uh, fence, bars with different shapes and uh, submarine uh, panels. More wedge pieces uh, on top used on uh, the wedges used on top of uh, automobile magnets. How many I got? Seven this time. Wingtails, very precious and rare. More uh, space satellite wing fans. Interesting uh, piece right there. Rocket bottom, uh, shrubbery, <coughs> plants, trees, and engine pieces. Right there, I have separated the uh, the engines right there. Which one is the the one that I worked on uh, clearing uh, the, all those white? Can you tell the which one it was? Okay, <clears throat> I have put uh, those two together to make a comparison of uh, the work that I've done uh, in trimming work, getting rid of all the grimes and uh, the different stuff. Okay, let me uh, put this away. It's a fake one. <clears throat> yes, I have um, uh, tried my best uh, clearing, uh, getting rid of the white ink or painting off by using a cutter knife. 
uh, and uh, try to make it look black, as black as possible. And I have put uh, one as a comparison for you guys to which one do you think is the uh, the one that I have uh, worked on uh, to make an improvement. This is a totally uh, untouched one, a black, um, genuine, real, a good one. The one on the right side here is the one that I have uh, made improvements on by cutting the surface. Oh, that music again. Okay, uh, and uh, actually, it looks a bit bad. Like if I uh, look look at it with the light. Okay, in in a bright place, it looks it it, it kind of shows uh, the. Uh, the badly damaged area. Actually, while I was um, uh, removing the white painting on the surface, I had to rem also remove the uh, the plastic coating film of the uh, the particular Lego uh, as the uh, manufacturer pieces right there. So it's a bit damaged, but it looks as black as possible. So I'm um, happy about it, and a little bit of a sacrifice that I had to accept. And this is still good enough. Now let me uh, put them on top there together with the other engine pieces there. And more engine with the big uh, socket and uh, strange looking engine. And this precious one I still have. I'm glad I got this. See, I've already collected, as I've mentioned, collected the, uh, the 7094 King's Castle Sage set uh, about 97% of the uh, the pieces to be able to complete uh, the set itself, and that one was the one one of those pieces that I was missing. And now I got this. I can't wait to put the, include that piece into the the my already um, uh, packed set. More cabinets. Door opens up like this. And the uh, automobile door, o only the right side. I think uh, this one goes into the, the rig rigging truck. More chairs. Chair, the red one, is old style. It does not have the center groove spot on there. So this is a, a good one that I like. The Later they produced a... Uh, uh, the chair pieces uh, with the center groove, a little bit of a molding mark right there. I don't know why they did this, but maybe for uh, the air to go through so the uh, it does not uh, uh, get stick together too hard. I don't know why, but um, I don't kind of I don't like this. Okay, more battle pieces, uh, trans clear window, trans neon orange. Window, uh, trans clear door, trans clear. Okay, window pieces. It, it's not almost invisible to through camera lens here. Okay, this one is one by four by six, and this one is one by four by five. Extremely rare and precious for me. Probably uh, goes into the cycle fix it shop. More interesting looking panel panels here. Yes, cycle fixes shop a panel that goes into there, and ski part. Still a door slot for the uh, trans uh, trans neon orange, and more interesting uh, panel pieces all the way down. Submarine theme, and space. What do you call this thing? Some uh, some detector kind of thing. Okay, let's have a general overall view of um, utensil pieces right there. Um, they call it spear with I don't know, and they call this one holly bard. Holly bard. It's kind of it's produced, uh, pronounced in interesting way. Holly bard. I don't know why they, why they made it name, named it like that, but I just call it X spear. Okay, <laughs> let's uh, make uh, the work easier and simple. Sword. <laughs> Actually, no. All of them have uh, their own distinct name. Horn. Yeah, the dragon. I could not. I did not find the dragon, but I. I uh, see only the dragon uh, horn piece right here for the set number seven zero nine four. More bars, antenna, and uh, steering uh, wheel. Steering wheel. St st steering uh, piece. 
and uh, this one uh, has a is an assembly of those two parts, the black and green one, and in between there is a spring attached inside. So it's uh, it's also separable, I think. And I think this one goes in there, like that. Click, click, and put a minifigure on top of it and make it move or snap at something by moving him like this. Probably, uh, yeah, this time I think it is soccer theme, but also used in the baseball theme. Like, let, let's say like, if I put a minifigure on top with my with the uh, with his arm stretched out like this and put a basketball uh, on top and if I just do this uh, the basketball is supposed to jump up from where the minifigure the arm were but uh, this time <laughs> this guy <laughs> went away all right a um, little bit of um, nothing particular to mention this time Th those pieces are really old space theme interesting for me and the other stuff, uh, chrome silver. I love chrome silver. Whatever they are, whatever these are, I'm really glad to have them. Especially the dark gray old style crossbow. I already have lots of reddish brown or brown, no, just reddish brown color of those stuff, uh, which were produced in later days. But this one is a dark gray one, which means that this one was produced in a long time ago. And a uh, very precious uh, brown shield with the antelope. I already got a lot of uh, shields uh, like this. And uh, maybe this one is a necessary one. Uh, a sword. Looks kind of like a Nexo Knight theme, but it actually is not. This one was already produced uh, since a long time ago. And Chauvel, uh, Wrench, Star Wars, Big Rifle. Sword. This one is a uh, pearl light gray, and a uh, witch hammer. You call it? And what do you call this thing? <laughs> Some kind of weapon that uh, you hit. Uh, with oh, very <laughs> scary. <laughs> Isn't Lego supposed to be producing that kind of stuff? <laughs> I don't know. And uh, pot used in cooking. <laughs> uh, telescope. Red horn. More. Telescope by uh, what do you call this thing? The by 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 I forgot by by plane no binocular binocular yes uh, camera piece <coughs> and the more uh, flippers there and these are all the minifigures which help me along the way very much to be able to identify which set uh, that I should be targeting at this time with all those bulk pieces. I even have a dark grey sh uh, shark this time and a very interesting uh, collection of minifigure old style, pretty much old on the way on the first line there and, this, and on the second line those three are still uh, old and this is the best I could do this guy is missing uh, two hands this guy is missing leg and uh, missing head and all that but um, yeah the... okay and blah 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 a Star Wars uh, this guy uh, missing his uh, light flesh uh, minifigure head but still uh, had uh, has the um, the trans red uh, minifigure head with uh, some some kind of uh, earth or star or some kind of pattern in there um, all those uh, three uh, trooper guys this one is missing its uh, head and uh, headgear altogether the headgear was a very uh, the, uh, uh, interesting one but I don't have it at, at the moment this guy is simple uh, yellow lining on top and with a red mark, star mark on uh, each side. But all of them are losing their heads. I think light, fla light, light flesh heads are all just gone. All the rest of them are just yellow and white. But the Star Wars series, um, light flesh heads. Uh, see, this guy has light flesh hands, so uh, light, fl light flesh heads are supposed to be used there. But all of them are losing heads. I don't know what happened to light flesh. The zombie uh, that was living together with the previous owner uh, uh, had this particular taste of uh, light flesh and ate them all. I don't know. Okay, um, for 
this one right here, yeah, I uh, realized that this is a uh, Playmobil, and uh, I also found out that uh, this he headpiece, headgear, probably goes uh, for him because of the color match right here. The um, this one, okay, on top is yellow, and on the bottom here, on the the behind, there is like black. So yellow and black and uh, screen, and so I think yeah, because he, he has like yellow lining all over his body like this. So probably uh, the fireman kind of guy with the black boots that he is wearing so the color also matches so this one the probably go, goes for him but I uh, was difficult for me or impossible for me to get a click click uh, with his head and stuff so I was wonder what's wrong with this guy so that led me to um, do a little research on the laptop to find where he actually came from So basically what I did was um this is a bit good. Okay, that's better. I searched on the Google and found this guy. Come on. Yeah. Ah, Playmobil, uh, Fireman, I put in the keyword and found this guy on the eBay. Um, looks like pretty much this guy, yeah. And I realized the reason why the, uh, the headpiece would not click on his head because there is another piece that's supposed to be in between. Uh, little hair piece right there brown i don't know if i uh, threw it away while i was uh, sorting uh, the fake and the real pieces but uh this is really disappointing i do not have the uh round hair piece so that's why it does not fit on his head uh, i need that ha hair piece probably this guy with uh, more gears on the backpack uh, air tank with the oh the uh, scary looking mask probably what do you call it <laughs> what do you call the i forgot the um uh air air mask uh and this one is definitely come on what happened okay this one is definitely this one haha <laughs> exactly the same um, unfortunately, I mean, like, disappointingly, this one does not have, uh, usually on eBay, they do not have the uh, particular set number or whatsoever. Even on the website, official website of Playmobil, I could not, st I still, I still could not find the, uh, the, mo uh, the model number. And, uh, there's no model number. It only says Playmobil, uh, Bombero, Modelo, uh, is that Italian? Um, it says Playmobil Fireman, that's all. Air tank, a guy, uniform, you see.